let's have a discussion. Adjustable front wheel bearings, usually on a rear-wheel drive vehicle, uh, older ones that uh, you, know, you have packable bearings and stuff like that. How do you adjust them the right way? Well, I'll show you the way I've been doing it for 39 years now, and uh, I've never had a failure of, of a wheel bearing, that at least that I know of. Um, so let me just show you real quick. So here we have that Ford Ranger, and there was actually quite a bit of play in the bearing here. When you have the wheel on it, you could actually rock it back and forth and you could see play inside here. So I figured, let me just adjust them up a little bit. Now, if you just pack this, what I would usually do at this point is I would take the nut after I screwed it down. Now, you see how loose this is? I haven't touched this. All I did was take the, the castle cage off and take the cotter pin out. Obviously, cotter pin first, but this is way too loose. And that led to the rocking of it. That can ruin the bearings also. You don't want to over-tighten it either because that will burn the bearings up. So usually what I do is I go just easily, and it comes to a stop right there. And I will rotate it a few times. This car was doing a little bit of sitting, but these rotors are fine. I'll rotate it a few times, and it'll kind of go against that stop that I feel. I don't want to, you know, you don't want to put the channel locks on it like this and just tighten the shit out of it. Or, you know, put a wrench on it and just tighten the daylights out of it. Don't do that. Just, you know, like, like, like. Just like that, lightly, and you feel it come to a stop. Rotate it a couple times. Again, feel it come to a stop. And right there, that's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. Now, you go to put the cage on there. It doesn't exactly line up. Well, okay. That's what I hate about clubs. See that? It doesn't exactly line up. Get in there. So, what you want to do... Hello, focus. Oh, I won't focus. But what you want to do is you want to get it to line up. You don't want to go tight to make it line up since that came to a stop. What you want to do is, like in this position, I can back it up just a hair to get that line up. That's what you want to do. Back it up a hair. Don't go tight. All right, so there, I backed it up a hair. Now take your trusty cotter pin, drop it in place. However you do it, it's not that important. Um, I mean, it is, but it isn't. It's it, Okay, some people have it and spread them this way and that way. That's fine. You want to do it this way, like I do it, and spread it this way. That's fine, too. It all depends on the application. It depends on what I'm doing. It also depends on the style of the cotter pin sometimes. Because <clears throat> like this one, if you look, it bows out on both sides. Some of them are flat on one side. So, but on this, in this case, I'm doing it this way. I'm just going to drag it out. Just like that. I do that, and I always trim off that little leg that hangs down. So this way it doesn't hit the cap, because I've seen people, when they put the cap on, that piece hangs down. I've actually seen it slice open the cap. So... That's how I do it. I've had great luck with it. Anyway, that's about it. If you're getting anything out of my videos, hit the like button. If you want, if you could, please subscribe. I'm tongue twisted today. That's about it. You guys have a great day and keep wrenching.